Hey everyone, my name is Philip Wang. I'm uh, one of the founders of Wong Fu Productions, and today we're in Palo Alto uh, doing a screening of our new series, Yappy. Um, yeah, so I guess when we first were um, promoting the show and releasing information about it, there was like a small group of people that were criticizing, you know, the casting um, and, uh, you know, just even the angle of the story. And um, honestly, like it, it was a little frustrating because 90, I'm just the type where it's like 99% can be positive, which it generally was. Like everyone was really excited for the show, but like, you know, sometimes I'll just in my head, like, you know, that 1% would be, oh, I, w I wish I could just talk to each of them and just, first of all, tell them, hey, just wait till you watch it. It's not, like, I think you're, you're, you're gonna be, like, really surprised. And some people are just, you know, they, they just will always find a reason to hate on something. So um, those, those type of people, like, it doesn't really bug me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so grateful and thankful for the fans that we do have and the support that we do have. And, and they know, you know, what, um, they know what we really stand for and what we've been doing for, you know, over 10 years in terms of representing the Asian American community. So, yeah. We decided to do it completely on our own um, because we wanted full control of the project. Single by 30, which was done for YouTube Red, YouTube Originals, you know, we weren't able to, we had to sell the idea and, and you know, it, it, it didn't get a second season and we had no control over that, right? So I didn't want to have to go through that again, especially with um, a subject matter so personal to me. Um, I really wanted to make sure that we would always have complete creative control over it. So um, that was one reason. I also wanted to make sure that the message of this is so important to me too, to get out to as many people as possible. I didn't want it to go through any kind of paywall or too many steps for people to watch. One of the most sad things about Sing by 30 is we put in so much time and energy into it and like half our audience couldn't have access to it, you know, like because they either couldn't sign up or they were in a country where it's not available. So. I really wanted to make sure that Yappy was accessible to as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. So it made sense for us to just take the gamble on ourselves, take the risk ourselves, um, front the cost, and just do the, we literally did this, you know, for, for the culture, for, for the fans. You know, like, so just talking about the term Yappy, I think, you know, a lot of people, that was kind of what some of the critique was about the show, is that people thought that we were criticizing Yappies or criticizing the, like, the idea of having a comfortable life or working hard to, to just, yeah, have a, have a nice life. And that's completely not what the show's about or even what, you know, we're trying to say with the term Yappy. I will definitely say I'm a Yappy. You know, I, I, I value, you know, hard work and you know education and taking care of your parents and having a good life. I think what we want people to take away from this is just to think, okay, well, in light of that, you can be you can you can still care about those things and still care about the world or care about the issues or care about a community that's bigger than just your immediate, you know, bubble. And I think a lot of Asian Americans grow up in a in a system or mentality where it's like I just got to be the best for me and that's all that matters but I think in order for us to progress as a community we do need to think a little bit beyond ourselves and care about the world care about what Asian Americans are going through care about what you know other groups are dealing with and so that sense of empathy that sense of activation can can really change your life and like I'm not telling people to you know go quit your job you know or, or like you know change your major and go be a, like a starving artist or whatever but I mean unless you want to unless you really want to that's the thing like ultimately like the, the label your job whatever doesn't define you and so I really want to encourage people to just be introspective and think hey how can I do a little bit more in the world how can I help the world out a little bit even if it's just you know coming to watch Wong Fu Productions you know like buying a ticket buying a ticket to Crazy Rich Asians that's still you caring about your community and that's really what I want people to think about. Yeah, I think right now, like when people kind of criticize a piece of content, whether it's Yappy or whether it's Crazy Rich for like, oh, that's not my story, you know, like I, that's why I don't want to support it or whatever. I understand why they feel that way. We have, Asian Americans have so little content that's out in the mainstream media or media in general. So when one thing comes out, everyone's going to project like their life or their experience onto it. So I understand why it feels that way. And, um, but the truth is, is that we have to start somewhere. Um, and there, there definitely is a pressure for Wong Fu to feel like we have to like try to represent everyone, but like it's impossible. Like we can only we, we can only do so much, you know. And like 
And I, I would just hope that people don't, just because we're not telling their story, it doesn't undervalue our story. You know, this, this is my experience, this is a lot of people's experience, but just because it's not yours, doesn't mean that you can't still support it. You know, like, I go watch a lot of movies that I don't personally relate to, but I just think it's great to learn about other people, I think it's great to empathize with other people. So when it comes to Asian stories, um, yeah, I kind of wish we didn't have so much weight on like, oh, this has to be me, so you know? Like yeah, and like, um, it's just it's just kind of funny. It's just like, you know, there's so many movies that we, like, you know, you, when you watch Avengers, you're not like, oh, I don't relate to this. You know, sometimes you just want to watch a story. Sometimes you just want to see someone go through something, right? But again, it's because we have so little out there that people put so much weight. And I remember like there's this one actor, um, and I think he's I think he's Indian or no he's Pakistani, but he's like, I wish I could you know be you know white and do movies where I don't have to represent the entire race. You know I could just be that character, right? Hopefully we'll get there someday. And part of the process to get there is for us to support these individual films so that we can prove one by one. Oh, there's an audience. Oh, they show up. Oh, they care. And we can get more and more and more. We can get more detailed and more specific about your, you know, hopefully we'll hit your story someday, you know. I think uh, in terms of the writing uh, and how it's evolved, yeah, I would love, I would like to believe that, you know, I've, I write differently than I did, you know, 10 plus years ago. I think I've, I would like to believe that I've gotten better technically and, um, you know, creatively. Uh, but I still admit and acknowledge that I'm, I have you know things to learn. I, I don't want, I don't ever want to feel like I'm the best. You know that I have nothing left to do or learn. Um, but uh, yeah, with this subject matter specifically, you know, like this was stuff that I think about all the time. You know, so it was a departure from like our normal comedy or romantic stuff. And it was like, hey, let's talk about issues, you know, and let's uh, let's kind of dive deep into some of these pretty heavy topics. So that was challenging because we wanted to make sure that we approached everything from a very 360 view because we, the worst thing we want to do is like open a, of a conversation and misrepresent it. And we gotten a lot of great feedback that says, oh, wow, you, that, that one episode, I can't believe you guys handled it so well. Like that topic is so difficult, but the way you guys did it was, was really great. Um, so I'm, 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 we did a lot of research. We talked to a lot of people that if it was like an experience, like, the, like in episode five, there's this, this confrontation between, you know, Kalina's um, ex-boyfriend who's black and then me. And we had like a lot of friends who were, who were black to read this and help us figure out what's the best way to, would you say things this way or whatever. And so any, any, any area that we didn't have an experience, we got, we got input. Um, ultimately with, you know, with this series, it is on YouTube. We had limited time and, 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 and money. So we did have to write in a certain way so that it could fit 15, 20 minutes. I wish we had 25, 30 minutes and eight episodes a season or 12 episodes a season, but that's just not where we are right now financially. So we did what we could with what we got and uh, that's why it's kind of this way. And hopefully we'll be able to, you know, level up next time and, and, and scale. Yeah, season two, I mean, a lot of people are saying that they want one, which is great, thank goodness, you know, I'm glad that uh, they, they like it enough. And the truth is, I mean, we scratched, we barely scratched the surface, like five episodes, we hit like a handful of topics, but there's so many more things to dive into, so many things that we go through as a community. Um, actually, initially, we had eight episodes, ideas that we wanted to do, but we just couldn't do it because of resources and time, so it had to be five. So um, we absolutely want to do more because there's more characters, there's more um, details and conversations that we want to have um, through the characters and explore those. Um, right now, the best way to make that happen is definitely please share and tell your friends. And the more support we have, the more viewership that we have, the more um, you know buzz around it. It always helps. We are talking to like some some smaller studios. We're talking to some maybe brands and different partners um, that we could uh, you know link up on. So we're looking at a couple different options and worst case scenario we could still do it this way we can still self hopefully self-fund it and do it our own way um, and that would still be I think a really great um, experience and I'm, I'm so thankful that you know even though we didn't have Hollywood studios coming after this or, or supporting it we were we saw the fan base to say that we that we could still make it for our fans and we still have the infrastructure of Wong Fu that we can make it with them so really grateful to the fans for supporting it Collaboration is awesome. Um, you guys are literally, you know, part of the community that is making the biggest difference. You guys are 
investing your time and energy and your creativity to, to expand and, and progress the community. So keep it up and thanks for supporting Yappy, thanks for supporting Wong Fu. Definitely tell your friends about it. Thank you.